His eyes pop open. Bing! And he sits bolt straight up. Keep it real. Greetings, internet people. You're tuned into the Keep It Real RN channel. My name is Craig, and I'll be your host. And today, I'm going to do an episode of Story Time. And today's story is titled, Tackled by the Popo. And today's story takes place at a hospital somewhere in the United States. And I came on my shift this particular day in the morning, and I was assigned a 20-something-year-old male who was brought in from the emergency room in the wee hours of the night with acute alcohol intoxication. Now, the report I got was that the police had brought him in because he was intoxicated and combative and disoriented. And when he was in the emergency room shortly thereafter, he became semi-conscious, unable to protect his airway and needed to be intubated. So here he is in my room on the ventilator, breathing tube hanging out of his mouth, propofols dripping. I finished my report and I approached the bedside to do my assessment. First thing I do when I approach the bedside to assess this man is I give him the old glabellar tap, which is the old tap on the temple. And after I do that, his eyes pop open. Bing! And he sits bolt straight up. And when he sits bolt straight up, the ET tube is like being cranked all the way into the corner of his mouth. And the Ventilator tubing is stretched to the max, and he throws his legs over the side rail. So the ventilator tubing stretched to the max, ET tube cranked into the from the corner of his mouth. He's got the SEDs on his legs. They're all wrapped up in the SED tubing, hanging over the side rail, and he's ready to book. So I yell for help, and a couple people come in, and we lay him back down and re reapply the restraints. And he's just fighting tooth and nail. He's throwing his legs over. I'm having a hard time keeping him down in the bed. And of course, he's able to get his restraints off. So I get the doctor in there and I say, listen. I said, this guy has sobered up. He's wide awake now. And we need to take this breathing tube out or he's going to do it for us. And there's going to be nothing I can do about it because he's young, otherwise healthy young man. It's going to overpower me and take off. So we put him on spontaneous breathing for a little bit. See how he does. He's doing fine. A couple minutes later, we pull the breathing tube out. And as soon as we pull the breathing tube out, he mellows out because now we've removed the noxious stimuli that's making him go crazy, which is the tube down his throat. So he takes a little nap. I do my charting. After he wakes up from his nap, I go over and talk to him, and I ask him, I say, do you remember what happened? And he tells me, yeah, I do. I remember exactly what happened. He says, I was at a bar with my buddies, and we were having some drinks, and we had smoked some weed, and I had gotten into an argument with one of the bouncers, and they threw me out of the bar. And when I was out on the sidewalk outside the bar, I started arguing with somebody on the sidewalk. He said, the next thing I know, two cops are coming up to me, and one of them grabs me in a headlock and throws me down on the sidewalk. And as he's telling me this story, he's rubbing his left shoulder. Obviously, his left shoulder hurts because he really has limited range of motion in his left arm because it's causing an immense amount of pain. He goes, yeah, they threw me down on the sidewalk onto my left side. He says, they tackled me. I was tackled by the popo. And uh, he goes on, he says, yeah, and then they bring me to the emergency room. And the next thing I remember is some doctor is standing over me telling me that they're going to give me some medicine to put me to sleep and put a breathing tube in. And that's the last thing that I remember until I woke up here. And I was thinking about this, and when he had said, tackled by the popo, that was ringing in my head over and over as we were having this conversation. And I was thinking, that would be a great title for a country song. 
because some of the greatest country songs ever written were about drinking and fighting and having your woman leave you and having a broken heart, being broke and penniless. And what a great subject, but a better subject than being tackled by the popo. So I told this guy, I said, this is a great story that would make a great country song. And I'm going to write a song called Tackled by the Popo. And so it's been quite a while since this story took place. And the furthest I've gotten on this song is I've written a chorus for it. And this is how the chorus goes. I'm about ready to write some verses, but here is a preview of Tackled by the Popo. Tackled by the Popo. Seemed like it was happening in slow mo. I was smoking weed and drinking with my friends. Tackled by the Popo. Seemed like it was happening in slow mo. The emergency room is where it always ends. Tackled by the Popo. Seemed like it was happening in slow mo. I was smoking weed and drinking with my friends. Tackled by the popo, seemed like it was happening in slow mo. The emergency room is where it always ends. The emergency room is where it So please rate this video and leave a comment below. If you like this video, share it with your friends. In fact, share it with your friends even if you think it sucks. Hit the subscribe button down there and become a passenger on the Keep It Real RN Express. And until next time, keep it real.